Okay, so now we are going to show the communication. And first of all, we are going to perform a direct read. So we are going to take the computer and we're going to ask the Arduino Opta for the value of two variables. For the variable input 5 and input 8, which uh, physically are going to be whether this uh, interrupter is on or off. So it will be 1 or 0. And then we have a, a resistance uh, divider, which will give us an analog value according, depending on where we plug the probe. So, to start, we are going to connect the master computer to the slave Arduino. And we are going to want to read the digital input 5, whose direction is discrete input 5. We go to read discrete inputs and then we pull it so it reads every second and right now it's on you can see one there and if we turn this off then well it time out but it uh, turns zero so I'm gonna turn it on and now it's one again so what's happening here is that the computer is asking the opta and the opta is telling the computer the value of this uh, variable. So again, we turn it off, we read zero, we turn it on, we read one. Okay, next we're going to read the input register where we're going to, where we're reading the analog value, analog reading, and we know that the address is eReg15. So we're gonna go to input registers and we are going to start about 10 we are going to show a couple of them so that when we connect now when we pull we have some values so the value that you are seeing there is the reading of this so for example if we set it to 0 then we should read 0 if you set it to the first position we are going to read about uh, 24,000 and if we set it to the second position we read about 50,000 so again what's happening here is that the computer is asking the opta what's the value of this uh, input and then the opta is telling back these uh, values these values that we are reading uh, are the direct readings but if you remember we had also prepared a variable that divided this by 2. In order to read this variable, we are going to our program, to our PLC ID, and we are going to see status variables, and we see this address. So, we know that in this address we have the input divided by 2 that we set up earlier. So, in order to read it, we are going to use the function number 3, read holding registers. You can see that there is a difference of 1, that's uh, because of how it's set up, but in fact we are reading this register. And then we can connect and perform a reading. And we will see that the value is about half of what we have here, which if you remember it was about 50,000. So here we have half that value. Okay, so next we are going to show uh, if you remember, we have set up a function where we said that if the this variable was larger than 300, the LED would turn on, and if not, it will be off. So for that, we see the address of this variable. We go to the master, and here we are going to write single register into this address, and then we connect, and now here we can insert. Right now you see that the light is off, but if we write uh, for example 295 and we connect it will remain off but if we write a value over 300 so 302 then it has turned on and now if you again write a value under 300 like 295 when we press enter it will turn off Finally, we are going to see the write single coil, which will let us write directly from the computer 
into an output. So for this, uh, we are going to be writing into output 2. Uh, in the diagram we said 1, but since I was having some issues, I switched to number 2. But it's the same. So right now, uh, we have the function write single coil. And right now it is 0, and it's off. But if we write it on, then... Uh, oh, sorry, we uh, update here. And then it turns on. If we put it to zero again, so zero, it will turn off.